Welcome back to our Tempo Storm deck introduction series featuring Big Priest. The Knights of the Frozen Throne have provided Priest with several effective additions, making the class one of the strongest on the ladder. Dropping overstatted minions with powerful effects and a wide range of removal spells have always been a key strategy to the class. Priest takes this resilient strategy to the next level, summoning and resummoning large threats early on with Shadow Essence and Eternal Servitude. While Kazaka's Priest is still seeing changes, Big Priest has become the reliable anti-control archetype with a top 75 finish last season by Theo. Big Priest uses a combination of Barnes and Shadow Essence to summon expensive minions early in the game. No other competitive deck in standard pulls a turn for Yasharaj or Yasera and resurrecting it the following turn with with eternal servitude can be devastating. The execution of this strategy is fairly straightforward, though draw dependent, inspiring some players to call the archetype High Roll Priest. From your opening hand until turn four, you're basically assembling your pieces to snowball the game in your favor. Against aggro decks, hold on to removal such as Shadow Word Pain and Potion of Madness to neutralize early game threats. Shadow Visions and Barns will always be welcome cards to keep in your opening hand, allowing you to search for Eternal Servitude and activate your combo, but a player should actively mulligan for these cards only if they have responses to early game minions. As tempting as it is to dump your Shadow Word Horror or Pain to look for Barns, the amount of removal Big Priest carries is often enough to secure a win against decks like Token Shaman on its own. The combination of Pint Size Potion and Shadow Word Horror are devastating against current Tier 1 decks such as Murloc Paladin and Tier S decks such as Aggro Druid. Against Control decks, you should mulligan hard for Barnes, Shadow Essence, Eternal Servitude, and Shadow Visions. With less early game pressure, Big Priest takes advantage of the slower pace of the game to assemble the combo pieces necessary for your big threats. Having resource generators such as Ysera, Yasharaj, and the Lich King often leave control decks scrambling for answers. The deck shares the same struggles as other anti-control archetypes in the Jade Druid era, but it's still held as a solid choice to climb the ladder. In any matchup, Shadow Visions gives Big Priest consistent, flexible access to its combo pieces or board clears. If your opponent shows early signs of being a control deck with a wide range of removal options, use Shadow Visions to select Shadow Essence or Eternal Servitude if one's already in your hand. If they drop early minions on turn 1 and 2, search for Shadow Word Horror or Shadow Word Pain to neutralize the board. Depending on the state of the meta, you'll be able to identify which archetypes are the strongest for a given class and assess the risk of hard mulliganing for Barnes to begin your combo. Again, if you find Barnes in your opening hand, always hold on to it. A turn 4 Obsidian Statue, even as a 1 1, can spell catastrophe for even the most aggressive decks. Yasharaj will always be your best target for Eternal Servitude. Pulling Obsidian Statues neutralizes aggro and mid range boards for free and powers up your Eternal Servitudes. Some decks, such as Theo's, will use Thought Steal for a more proactive strategy against control decks, particularly against Priest Mirrors, Mage, in Warlock matchups. In Priest Mirrors, a Potion of Madness can deny your opponent's Barnes minions and pump up your Eternal Servitudes. Some lists include a Silence for Doomsayers and Spike Ridge Steed, but it can also be used on your own 1-1 threat. You won't be able to play tech cards like Kazaka's Priest, since Swamp Oozes, Galaka Crawlers, and Hungry Crabs can fill up your deck and deny your combo pieces. As minions that rely on their battle cries, it's safe to say that they won't be featured in Big Priest decks anytime soon soon. That being said, Priest of the Feast over greater healing potions allows Big Priest to contest most decks if you can't find Barnes on turn 4, particularly against weaker matchups like Aggro Druid and Pirate Warrior. At worst, Priest of the Feast will act as a soft taunt for aggro decks to trade into due to the threat of pairing AoE with healing. In a control meta, Free from Amber and Forbidden Shaping apply pressure against even the greediest of control decks. Accessing more obsidian statues or resource generating minions such as Ysera and the Lich King can provide Provide greater pressure, closing out the game sooner. Blizzard has brought Priest back to a level we haven't seen on the ladder before. Even beyond the Legend Climb, players like Lambie Series achieved tournament success with Big Priest in the America's Zotac Cup Finals using Mind Visions, A Holy Smite, and Spirit Lash as mana flexible removal and resource generation. We look forward to Big Priest continuing to provide players big plays with big possibilities. As always, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and join the discussion in the comments below. Let us know what you'd like us to cover in our next deck introduction. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to speed with all of Tempo Storm's Hearthstone news and content.